Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. Today I have for you conceptual difficulties in measuring gross national product or GNP. So let's get started. The first conceptual difficulty is GNP is always measured in terms of money, but there are a lot of goods and services for which money as a medium to measure that cannot be used. For example, painting as a hobby or the bringing up of children by a mother. You cannot use money per se to, to look at the look at the contribution of these activities per se. Yeah. So this is the first problem or first con conceptual difficulty of GNP which is it is always measured in terms of money. Let us now move to the second problem. The second problem with respect to GNP as a measure of development is uh, the conceptual difficulty in that is the problem of double counting. So it is really important to distinguish between a final good and an intermediate good or product. Yeah. So if that doesn't happen properly, then the problem of double counting happens. And if the double counting is happening, then it, the, the GNP figures are, are, are going to give us the wrong information. So this is again the second problem associated with GNP. The third problem is GNP does not make any distinction between goods as well as bads. For example, a manufacturing of cigarette and raising of children by a mother are treated on, on, on par with each other or treated similarly. So this is again a, a conceptual problem as far as uh, GNP as a measure of economic development is concerned. Yeah. Let us now move to the fourth important problem. The income earned through illegal activities like gambling, illicit extraction of liquor and things like that is not included in GNP. It is not included in GNP, but such goods and services have a value, right? And the people who are engaged in such activities are earning. So these earnings are not included in GNP per se. So this is again a problem, a conceptual difficulty of using GNP as a measure of development here. Yeah? Let us now move to the fifth important point which we have here. Inclusion of transfer payments like pensions, like uh, unemployment allowances and things like that. Yeah. So these are difficult to include or these are very difficult to monitor because what happens is the income which is coming to me for example i'm un unemployed and i'm getting unemployment allowance so that is an income for me but that income is coming from the government so therefore that is an expenditure on the government side so that is why this is a big problem that is inclusion of transfer payments in gnp is a big problem so i hope the concept is pretty much clear let us now move to the sixth important point. The capital gains and losses are excluded. For example, I have a property and the price of it fluctuates with respect to time. And because of that, today the value of, uh, the, value of the property is going up. So capital gains which I'm or the value of the stocks which I'm holding is going up. So that is not considered or that is excluded when I'm talking about GNP as a measure. Yeah? This is included only when the gains and losses are due to current flow of productive activities. It is only included when they are due to current flow of productive activities. Otherwise, they are excluded from the GNP as a measure. Yeah. So this is again a problem. Let us now move to the seventh important uh, point. GNP places no value on leisure foregone in the process of production of a commodity. So the amount of leisure which I am uh, not going to enjoy because I'll be working longer. For example, there are two individuals. One is working longer and the other is working for less uh, amount of time. Both are getting the same income per se, the, uh, the income of both of the individuals is same, the leisure which the individual who is working for more time is, uh, is, 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 is giving up is not same as the leisure which the person who was working for the lesser time is uh, giving up. So therefore there is a gap between the two and then GMP fails to value that. It fails to value the leisure which uh, the first individual is uh, giving up. So that is again a problem. And the last conceptual difficulty is in calculation of GNP, a good number of public services are taken into account. Okay, but the estimation of the same is difficult. For example, how do you estimate the services given by a military person? How do you estimate the services given by police? Yeah, it is really difficult to do that. For example, in times of war, you can say that they are doing it. Otherwise, it is only in the cantonment they are resting. So that is again difficult to uh, measure. That is why. Uh, this is this is a uh, this is a lacking point as far as GNP as a measure or uh, this is a conceptual difficulty as far as GNP as a measure is concerned. So I hope the concept of GNP is pretty much clear and the conceptual difficulties in measuring GNP is pretty much clear. Yeah, please stay tuned. I'll be making more videos with respect to growth and development. Thank you so much.